All right, now I am going to show you how to make a texture making machine in GIMP. Okay, so we're going to make brushes for Blender in GIMP. I need to start out with a new document that's 2048 by 2048 and hit OK. We're going to make extremely high resolution brushes. Then immediately make a new layer and hit OK. Get rid of the background. That way you have this transparent layer. Then I want you to find some textures that are related to metal. So I'm going to type metal texture and I'm going to use the advanced to search out all 8 meg of pixels. And we're going to go in here and randomly pick out some textures. And when I'm saying randomly, I say please don't take more than two minutes trying to uh, pick out a texture. Not even a minute. Just randomly pick them out. And guess what? We're making texture with texture. So those people that are freaking out right now thinking that I'm stealing textures, that you're so wrong. Just sit back, relax, and behave. Paste. <laughs> uh, here's scale. So what I'm going to do... Let's see those people that are like, can he say that? Okay, hit scale one more time. I'm going to stretch this out. Okay, next, find another texture. And if you have your di a digital camera or you have money to blow on a digital camera, um, I would say a good digital camera for capturing textures that's inexpensive. I love the Nikon P7000. It's small. When I take it on vacation, I don't look like a total tourist with this big, huge shutter camera. So... Nikon P7000. You should check it out. Pretty cool camera. Just got mine. Paste. Okay, paste in another one. Again, I'm going to go to scale. I'm going to type in 2048. Hit scale. One other thing I like to state that I am not selling, borrowing, stealing, or whatever, uh, and not making any kind of profit from the actual texture itself. So, do, 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 do. Oh, here's a good one. So I'll do this for a few minutes, and you can see that it's pretty boring until you figure out what I'm doing. Oh. Yeah, keep making new layers, by the way. Paste. Scale. And I think three will actually work quite well. If I need to add more, I can. And then scale one more time. And then to set that. Now, if I want to get rid of any empty ones, I can. But I still need one more layer of transparency and I need this at the very bottom. So it goes texture, 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 transparency. Okay, now I'm going to make a selection. And I want this selection to be, I don't know, right here. I don't want to go too far off the edge. And I'm going to go select feather 50 pixels, select invert, and I'm going to start at the top and go delete on the keyboard, delete on the keyboard, delete on the keyboard. Then I'm going to grab my eraser and get, grab this Galaxy Big Brush. Uh, so this is uh, the eraser tool. Uh, it's at 100% opacity. I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to randomly okay, cut into this texture. And I'm going to do the same with the next one. This will roughen up the edges. And the next one, 
Same thing. Okay, what did I just make? Well, what's cool about this is you keep doing this over and over, and if you need steel, but you don't want to steal any textures on the internet, what you can do here is go like this and wheel this down and you get like iron and you can get some like stainless. Um, you can get some kind of different steel with scratches on it. Don't know what. Uh, dark steel of doom. You know, this is what I'm talking about. And that's just one layer. Let's see what happens when I turn on both layers. Now I get even more variants. So you can see what I made. It's pretty powerful in the fact that, you know, you could just make any texture that you want based upon chance, of course. All right, well, now that we've uh, made a texture making machine, let's save this out as something. Let's save it as, if it includes layers, we're gonna have to save it as something like this. My series, work in progress, unit four. I'll call this Metal Maker. And I got to save this as a GIMP file if I want some true layers going on. That way I can always open it and always change it. I'll save it. Now, why did I make it so high res? Why didn't I make it smaller? Well, think of the future, think of needs in the future, think of how many other programs you can use this with. Uh, really, you know, if you have ZBrush, you can use it for ZBrush. If you have Photoshop, you can use it for Photoshop. Um, I don't know why you would use it for Photoshop. If you're using GIMP, you would just use Photoshop, but that's not the point. The point is you can use it for a lot of other programs. So my last coup de gras, I'm just going to save one of these out and I'm going to save it as a TGA. And down here, I'm going to use Targa and I'll call this Metal One. Just like that. TGA. Maybe you didn't hear me the first time. Uh, merge visible layers. Yes, I do want to merge them. Remember, I have it saved, and I still have it open, too. Now that I have this, uh, let's go back into Blender in the next video and play around with it.